Hello, my awesome and amazing Scorpios. It's Mel the Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. Let's see what's going on in the overall energy dynamics. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. course rolling the dice to see what I need to shuffle the deck to clean piece of paper here power of number seven some of you are dealing with a cancerian or a leo born in the month of july power of number nine you could be dealing with a virgo or a libra born in the month of september power of number eight you could be dealing with a Leo or a Virgo born in the month of August, okay? But adding up the numbers brings us to the power of number 24. You may also be dealing with a Taurus or an Aries born in the month of April. You could also be dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces born in the month of February. You could be 42, 47, 48, or 49 years old. You could have been born in 1972, 1974, 1978, or 1979. You could have been born in 1982, 1984, 1987, and or possibly 1989. You might have been born in 1992, 1994, 1997, and or possibly 1998, again, for some of you. But go into the power of number 24 for the beautiful star sign of Scorpio. And of course we have our beautiful astrological card. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and a 24. Trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and subscribers, what is the overall general collective energy, please? What does Scorpio need to know at this time frame? Show me what's up. Ooh. Card number eight. Number eight came up on the third roll of the dice. You could be dealing with a Leo or a Virgo born in the month of August for some of you. Something about courage and strength, your confidence. This could be about your self-concept or something is stewing and brewing inside of you right now to have some kind of determination here to go the distance or somebody needs the courage and the strength to open up and communicate with you. We'll see. Mm, I think it's, I can't think of the singer. I'm hearing her. I'm feeling good from my head to my shoes. Know where I'm going and I know what to do. Something like I've got a new attitude. That could be you right now, Scorpio, getting a whole new attitude about you. Wow, somebody's all up in their head, whether this is you, Scorpio, or your specific person. Mm. Maybe you recently ran into your specific person. Maybe you saw them in the same room or at a local place, a local event. Maybe there were no words exchanged for some of you, but it, whatever the case may be, it might have left this person all up in their head. Um, some restless energy is going on uh, for a lot of you who are entrepreneurs and, you know, thinking about starting your own business. You could also be taking uh, classes online right now. Um, there just could be recently. Well, you know, we got out of um, we're finally out of uh, Venus retrograde. Thank God. I'm really hoping that the energy in the cards and through the numbers, it's all going to shift and or possibly change, hopefully, um, because of the energy of Venus going direct, which is great. So 
there could be some alleviation of some of these emotional burdens that maybe you feel you've been taking on. And a lot of times I try to remind people that whatever sometimes we're feeling, and especially if you're an empath, these feelings may not be your own. You could be picking up on the vibrational frequency of that person. Okay. Because we're all connected. Okay. There is no separation. We have those etheric cords that are attached from you unto that other person, friend, family member, whatever the case may be. So I always look at the nine of swords as what have I done? What have I done? Now, some of you could be dealing with an air sign, an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini more specifically. Okay. <clears throat> I also feel here too with the nine of swords and maybe some of you can identify with this with me because I know I've been going through it over the last few days. Like I've been doing a lot of research and uh, staying up really late at night and um, it's because either I feel my mind cannot calm down um, and I've gotten out of the habit of drinking like chamomile tea before I go to bed. So tonight I'm going to make myself a cup of strong chamomile tea. Um, you could be feeling highly restless at night. You know, check your caffeine levels, you guys. Make sure that, um, you know, you're not consuming so much coffee and also soda or pop, wherever, whatever terminology you use throughout where you live. Um, I have reduced, but it was kind of strange because the last week, I think I doubled my coffee. Like now I don't make a full cup, like full pot of coffee anymore. I have my Keurig. And so normally I've only been doing one coffee pod per day. Right. Um, but the last few days, because I was highly restless, Toto's been waking up in the middle of the night. You know, if I move or turn over or anything in bed, you know, she starts to get all snarly on me. So it's like beauty and the beast. Okay. So you know, my sleep patterns have been off the last few days and I, and it's kind of strange because I feel like the energy definitely has been very weird, um, with mercury retrograde as well. So it's kind of like we leave one energy only to be in another energy right now. And then being consumed, being consumed with these thoughts, trying to figure out, are these thoughts, are these feelings really our own or are we just energetically in truth, possibly picking up on somebody else's vibrational frequency. Okay. But either way, we're, we'll find out what the nine of swords is for some of you. Yeah. A lot of you could be restless. Some of you went back to school. Okay. You started online courses, possibly in August, uh, could have literally gone back to a local community college. Um, you know, and then it's not like maybe you're piled up with a lot of um, projects, maybe with school, it could just be, you know, okay, thinking about where's the rest of this year going to go. That could be what is stressing you out right now, Scorpio. Where is the rest of 2023 going to go? Well, listen, you're in the driver's seat. I always say this. You have to decide. You determine where you are driving energetically and stop waiting for outside forces, outside influences, just get the work done. I mean, because sometimes that's just what we have to do. We have to do the things, unfortunately, that make us feel very uncomfortable. So if you're in a business right now, or starting up your entrepreneurship, you know, getting the appropriate licensures and, you know, creating a website. And, you know, sometimes we, if you guys are entrepreneurs like myself, it can be so draining and overwhelming um, because there's just so much information and, you know, you're downloading, downloading, downloading into your subconscious mind. And it could be maybe you're taking on researching far too many subject matters in one day. OK, and it could be taking you away from things that physically need to get done. OK, so if you're at the beginning stages of entrepreneurship, just get your basics taken care of first. If you need to trademark something, you know, copyright, register, trademark, whatever, get that out of the way. Get your state and local business licenses, things like that, um, you know, because it most most people cannot afford to start up like a brick and mortar store. And so most people 
with their entrepreneurship, you know, they are uh, starting up, you know, online websites and so forth. So try not to, um, and I, I felt this last night, so I feel like somebody could benefit from this because I was up till about, I don't know, 10, 11 o'clock looking at um, information on a particular subject matter that I have to do for my business. And um, it's just kind of like, you know, it's just far too much, you know, and I started to realize, my God, it's like going on 10, 30, 11 o'clock. And I just could not, I couldn't shut my phone off. You know what I mean? Not that I couldn't. I just, my brain was so in overdrive with all of this information and, um, and I was highly restless. Okay. So be conscientious of that. So if you're going through that, you're not alone. <laughs> Let's find out what the Nine of Swords is all about. Mm, four of Swords. That's about taking a short trip, a sabbatical, resting, um, decompressing. Again, you go from a nine to a four. You may need to reserve your mental strength, uh, Scorpio. Again, trying to do everything all at once. I've really reduced how many projects I work on throughout the day. You know, and realizing that I, there's just not enough hours. There's just not enough hours in order to get the important things done. I mean, especially if, you know, you work from home or even if you work another job, but you're trying to start an entrepreneurship business or a side hustle. And if you got kids, okay, then you got to take care of the kids. You got to, you know, get the food ready for the table and you got to clean your house and, you know, all of these things. And it's just, it's so overwhelming. And, you know, I still research like what other successful entrepreneurs are doing for scheduling because this is so important when it comes to strength now on a romantic level here somebody may want to retreat with you maybe they want to get together with you for a few days that could be future tense but this is also about decompression decompressing from how much you know maybe social media you're taking in throughout the day the you know the mindless scrolling Okay, we all get caught up in that. Um, this is really about productivity. And these subject matters I'm talking about have come up in prior readings before. Okay, so it could very well be true that even with a specific person, they could also be trying to um, distract themselves, you know, from reaching out or getting that courage, that courage and that confidence to come forward. Ten of Pentacles, somebody here may want to knock on your door, come see you face to face. You will get, as far as your business, your career and so forth, you're going to make it to this Ten of Pentacles, you guys. Okay, this is like ultimate success. And then what happens after the number 10 in the tarot suit? We start a new cycle. One through 10, 10 represents an end of a cycle so that a new phase, a new beginning can happen. Okay. So be very mindful of your schedule throughout the day, where can you realistically put in your side hustle throughout the day, okay? But keep your goals no more than like three major goals per day, whatever you consider major. And if you can only get one thing accomplished for the day, still pat yourself on the back, you stayed focused and you got the job done, okay? So don't beat yourself up thinking, my God, I have so much to do and you know, I don't know how I'm going to manage all this time management and I got to be here. I got to be there. Some of you could feel like you don't have time for your friends or your family right now, even if you wanted to, you know what I mean? Um, a lot of you, you know, went silent, went contact, no contact, uh, with friends and family members for various reasons. And you may also find that they are a distraction to your future success. Okay, you could feel more at peace or harmony 
in that four of swords type of mentality where you just don't want any distractions right now. Because you need to keep your, you know, keeping your eye on the prize. Ten of Pentacles. Let's go into, um, I'm going to go into the Romance Angels deck. No, excuse me. No, I'm going to go into the Hidden Truth Oracle. We both know <clears throat> I'm not the one for you, but I think somebody's having second thoughts here. Why would I say that? They could have told you that in the 3D, but somebody here is trying to get courage and strength because we're going to see there. We have a 10 of pentacles. That's about marriage commitment. I hide behind material things. Like I said, this person could be using things in the earthly realm to distract them from coming forward and being open and expressive. See, exactly, being open and expressive. They've been holding back. They're trying to, I feel like this person is also trying to figure out how to tell you that they love you because they're not sure if you're going to believe them, Scorpio. I'm starting to understand our connection. So again, they could have told you that in the past. They're using distractions in the here and the now. They're thinking about how they're going to come forward, express this, express the I love you. And starting to understand the connection. There could be an I'm, I'm sorry. You know. I was wrong. Please forgive me. You know. Um, I do feel like this person has been. They've been doing a really great job holding back. You know. <laughs> they've been doing a great job holding back. But let's, let's go into the Kipper deck. Hang on a second here. An official person. This could be your person, your specific person. They feel lack. They could feel lack without you or they are going through lack because, you know, they were hiding behind material things. This person could have also been a very frivolous spender. Or they're feeling the lack of your presence in their life. They could feel stuck, trapped. Literally, some of them could be in prison. That's a small percentage I'm picking up on. But this is like the Eight of Swords. Being all stuck up in their head, trying to figure this out. How do I express? How do I express to my specific person? Meaning from them unto you. They need to release themselves from this silence. And they will eventually because they're showing here in the Ten of Pentacles that there's a meetup. Yeah, they're thinking about you. Told you. They're thinking about you. You're on their mind. You're on their mind, Scorpio. And right now, again, the overthinking, especially when it comes to business right now, you could be trying so hard to get out of this lack conscious mentality. So you get into this 10 of pentacles and you're trying to absorb, absorb, absorb all of this information and what you have to do and what you have to get done in order to keep this hustle going, to keep it alive and well with inside of you, having this driving force to say, okay, am I making progressive movement? Um, some of you are just beating yourselves up because, you know, there could be inside of you this fear that is creating procrastination as well. And you could be stuck in this type of imprisonment in your mindset because either you might have a fear of failure or a fear of success. You guys, you have to go to the distance. You have to see yourself winning. If you see yourself winning, guess what? That's what's going to happen. Okay. This could be the one. You already met the romantic partner that you seek. So whoever's on your mind, yes, they are your person. There you go. Finances and career. 
look at all that's all matching up poverty i hide behind material things somebody's all up in their head finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love for life right now and again you know keeping your eye on the prize or this person uses the earthly uh energies in order to distract them Yep. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. That's the reason why they're trying to get out of this Harry Houdini self-imposed prison of their thoughts so that they can come forward, say the I love you, etc. Boom. Wedding energy would match up with the Ten of Pentacles. This situation involves marriage. I'm starting to understand our connection. So there is future partnership, future commitment. Right now, you could feel married to your work right now, but spirit saying, stay optimistic about your love life, positive thinking, and faith will bring you romance, okay? My awesome and amazing Scorpios, if you would like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com, and my amazing assistant, Victoria, will book you for that personal reading. But until next time, take care.